This video will introduce real-world examples of exciting careers available using chemical engineering, mineral engineering, metallurgical and industrial engineering, geology and other geosciences, organic and inorganic chemistry, health, safety and many others. Precious metals produced from primary sources start off as ore. Once the ore is removed from the mine, it must be processed to separate the valuable content from the surrounding rock and minerals to extract the metals from the ore. Ore with low concentrations of metal take more energy and work to concentrate and refine. Concentrations of precious metals in ore can be very low, yet still be profitable to mine due to their high value. Platinum concentrations in ore can contain as little as 2.5 grams per ton. That is the equivalent of 2-3 to three grams of precious metals in a million grams of surrounding rock. The task of separating the platinum from the rest of the material is a multi-step process using a variety of separation techniques. Mineral engineering is the discipline that utilizes technology to concentrate ore. The techniques used in mineral engineering have formed the foundation of all refining and recycling processes. This is true for precious metals recycling from automotive catalysts to the separation and recycling of metals, glass and plastics from household trash. The differences in physical properties of materials being separated are used to separate them. For example, a mixture of magnetic and non-magnetic particles can be separated using large magnets within separating tumblers. In every case, the material must first be broken apart into small enough particles to enable them to be separated. Crushing and grinding are the first steps used to break down ore. The amount of energy used to accomplish this is significant, so technology has been refined to optimize the process. Ore is first blasted from rock, and then the large boulders get crushed for easy transport and handling by trucks and conveyors. The ore is then taken through various types of crushing and grinding equipment until it is almost in a fine powdered form. The rock size, distribution, and hardness are matched to the type of equipment used. Impact crushers, roll crushers, cone crushers and grinding mills progressively reduce the particle size. Massive grinding or ball mills contain large hard spheres which roll and tumble to grind the ore particles between their surfaces. Technology has been developed to monitor variations in the incoming ore properties and modify the crushing techniques to improve efficiency. Once the metal bearing ore has been crushed and then ground, the precious metal bearing material must be separated from the rest of the material. A standard and widely used process called flotation separates particles based on their tendency to attach to frothing bubbles. Precious metals can be found within ore as metallic particles or contained in formations of oxides or sulfides. When the valuable content of the ore is in one form, like a sulfide, the surface chemistry properties may differ from the surrounding material in the ore, which will allow flotation to be used to separate them. The ore is mixed with water and small quantities of chemicals are added to help the separation. A very small amount of wetting agent is first mixed in to selectively coat the desired particles. This treatment alters the surface chemistry of some material and improves attraction and adherence to the bubbles in the froth. The pH of the slurry may also be monitored and adjusted to control the surface chemistry. The next chemical addition is the frothing agent, which is a type of soap which will create thick bubbles that can hold on to the selected particles. Internal impellers spin at high speeds to draw in air and create fine bubbles. These bubbles swirl and rise to the top, collecting the particles along the way. This is similar to and can be thought of as a cleaning action, much the same way dirt and stains are cleaned from clothing. A stain remover may first be sprayed on to treat the fine particles in the stain and then the detergents in the wash lift it up and out. The bubbles then overflow to separate and concentrate the metal bearing particles prior to the next concentrating steps. A series of flotation cells are typically used in which the froth from one cell cascades into the next cell for further concentration. Once ores are concentrated, additional technologies are used depending on the metals being processed as well as the other materials being removed. Hydrometallurgy and pyrometallurgy are the next disciplines within the realm of mineral engineering which are next employed to concentrate the precious metals from the ore. Hydrometallurgy involves the technologies which chemically dissolve or leach to eventually extract metals. Pyrometallurgy involves melting or other thermal treatment of ores to concentrate or extract metals. 
hydrometallurgy, and pyrometallurgy will be presented in our next video in this series. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.